you uh, talk about Glentorn, I want to go now further down the table <coughs> and obviously to the whole uh, shenanigans I would call and the, the sadness uh, regarding Porter Down because Porter Down always had a soft spot for me anyway because uh, under Ronnie McFall for so many years <coughs> they were always very good to me in media terms for years and years and always had a soft spot after the Gannon towards Porter Down. It's sad to see them in the position where they are. Vinnie Arkins is there now. They've gone through the mill. Pat McGibbon came in, he tried to do his best, he could take no more, he stepped aside. It's a mess for them, but Liam, it was also a mess for the fact that, uh, why was it not sorted out a lot sooner before, you know, even before a ball was kicked in anger when they knew there was issues and just make a decision, it mightn't be the right decision, okay, hopefully it would be, but make the decision yeah. and get it done and dusted with. I couldn't agree more, Adrian. And you're quite right in what you say, I'm always well treated when I go to Portadown to Shamrock Park, <coughs> The kettle's always on the boil. You know me, I love a colour. <laughs> and the kettle's always on the boil. Uh, a lot of good friends there, but somebody up there was not doing their job properly. Uh, obviously, we'll not name names. I'm not even sure. I couldn't name names. Yeah. But I would have to say that uh, I'm extremely disappointed. Somebody in there in charge of player registrations and so on, and that administration side of the club got it badly wrong. Got the club's name tarnished. They were deducted 12 points at the outset of the league. They never really have recovered from that. Ronnie McFall stepped aside. Long time manager, long time successful manager. Good guy, I like Ronnie. Big Pat come in, a fella that I love to bits, Pat McGibbon. But he must have felt he had reversed over every black cat in County Armagh because he couldn't have had any more bad luck than what he had. Players decided to go. He couldn't sign players. There was an embargo put on signing players. All types of things thrown in his face all the obstacles that could be put in his way was put in his way and he just had had enough uh, and I, I, I honestly did not uh, just did not envy anybody else coming in Vinnie Arkins has come in mm -hmm. and he's got some semblance of order going again but you know I also I, I just it's not fair to the fans at Portadown because mm -hmm. you know they're loyal as well they've been attending the club they don't know what goes on behind boardroom doors and they're extremely upset I can understand why uh, they need to get their house in order uh, and get back to the type of club that we know they are. We need a strong port of down as well. Can they recover? I think they'll be relegated, Adrian, because uh, I think that the 12-point differential uh, is a big ask. Mind you, Carrick Rangers are not doing an awful lot to, mm -hmm. to get away from that trouble. They've been handed, I think, it's like looking a gift horse in the mouth, a 12-point benefit before the, a ball's even kicked. And they haven't taken advantage of that. They've been going through the mill as well. So they're down there and perhaps Portadown might, if they're lucky, get out of the instant relegation, automatic relegation slot, uh, and maybe put Carrick down there. But it's between Portadown and Carrick, I think, who'll go down.